still view on actually. Okay, so today um, we're going to begin with um, Morris, who's giving out of our turn. So, Morris, go ahead. Uh, right. Um, there we go. Um, oh, I've lost my script. Right. In the spirit of extending the hug, as Wednesday was Pesach Shani, I'd like to take you back four weeks and three days, 31 days. Its melody may have had its roots in medieval German folk music, and it first appeared in a Haggadah printed in Prague in 1590, which makes it the most recent inclusion in a traditional Passover Seder liturgy, apart from prayers for the return of the hostages. It's a song popular with all, especially children, but does it have a deeper meaning? As with any work of verse, Kagadya is open to interpretation. According to some modern Jewish commentators, what appears to be a light-hearted song may be symbolic. One interpretation outlined in a pamphlet first published in 1731 in Leipzig by Philip uh, Nachamide Medus Nebrech is that Chagadia is about different nations that have conquered the land of Israel and where the recurring refrain of two zuzin is a reference to the two stone tablets given to Moses on Mount Sinai. This interpretation has become quite popular with many, with many variations as to which of our various oppressors are represented by which character in the song. For example, the kid symbolizes the Jewish people, the cat, Assyria, the dog, Babylon, the stick, Persia, the fire, Macedonia, the water, the Roman Empire, the ox, the Saracens, the slaughter, the Crusaders, and the angel of death, the Ottomans. At the end, Hashem returns to send his Jews back to Israel. In an article published in the Journal of Jewish Music and Liturgy in 1994, Rabbi Kenneth Brander, the co-author of the Yeshiva University Haggadah, summarized the interpretation of three rabbis. As a list of the pitfalls and perils facing the soul during one's life by Rabbi Jacob Emden in 1795, as a very abbreviated history of Israel from the covenant of the two stones recorded in Genesis, um, the first, the two Zuzim, the slavery, to the slavery of Egypt, the cat, the staff, Moses, the stick, the, and ending with the Roman conqueror, Titus, the angel of death, by Rabbi Jonathan um, Ashuberitz. Um, the third one, Rabbi Moses Sofa, the Hatim Sofa, interpret, interpretation is that of Pesach ritual of the temple, the goat purchased for the Pesach sacrifice, According to Talmud, dreaming of a cat is a premonition of singing, such as occurs at the Seder. The Talmud also relates that dogs bark after midnight, which is a crime the time limit for the Seder. The priest who led the cleaning of the altar on Passover morning would normally use water to wash his hands. Many people at the temple that day would bring their own bring oxen as sacrifices. The angel of death as the Roman Empire that destroyed the second temple, etc. Vilya Gale interpret, interpretation is that the kid is the birthright that passed from Abraham to Isaac. The father is Jacob. The two Zuzim are the meal Jacob paid Esau for his birthright. The cat is the envy of Jacob's sons towards Joseph. The dog is Egypt when Joseph and his clan were enslaved. The stick is the staff of Moses. The fire is the thirst for idolatry. The water is the sages eradicated idolatry. The ox is Rome. The shaykhat is the Messiah. The angel of death represents the death of Messiah. And the Holy One is the Lord who arrives with the Messiah. Other rabbinic interpretations are, of course, available. That's fine. But what are the financial implications of this song? One kid my father bought for two zuzu. Prices for goat. A uh, goat kid seems to vary widely depending on where you are and several additional factors such as age, gender, and size. The cost at the Borchester livestock market, according to Eddie Grundy, is £151.46. Then came the cat that ate the kid my father bought for two zuzim. 
Now, what kind of cat is big enough to eat a goat? Certainly not your pet Moggy. As a result, you have to look for one of, no, one of the goat's natural predators, such as a bobcat. Cost 1,380, 98 pounds and, so, and 10 pence. Then came the dog that bit the cat. Dog doesn't come with the same, quite the same size restrictions as the cat. But after all, it really just needs to have teeth. Try explaining that to the RSPCA. Cost 206 pounds, 52 pence. Then came the stick that beat the dog. That's where things get a bit off the rails because we're going to find a stick that can independently beat a dog. Sticks are not spontaneous, do not spontaneously commit acts of animal cruelty. So it must be you and the RSPCA are watching. The cost, the respect of your family and friends. Then came the fire that burnt the stick. How does fire appear out of nowhere? Sounds like a lightning strike to me. The report estimates the cost of lightning strikes from, uh, from 2004 to 2008 have caused 24,600 fires and a whopping 326 million pounds in property damage in the United States alone. One lightning strike's worth of property damage, 14,000, 416 pounds, 48 pence. Then came the water to quench the fire. How much water does it take to put out a lightning fire? Approximately 36,718 litres. Cost a mere 82.69 pence. Then came the ox that drank the water. Big ox. Again, from the Porchester livestock market, courtesy of Eddie Grundy, cost... 249 pounds and 77 pence. Then came the butcher that killed the ox. It takes a full eight hour day to butcher an ox. Cost 131 pounds and eight pence. Then came the angel of death that slew the butcher. Unless you have connections, it's impossible to hire an actual angel. So you have to look for a Roman uh, human standing. Have you ever been in the market for an assassin? Assuming you can find a serial killer and persuade him to kill someone on your behalf, the average salary is £60,000, or about £32.98 an hour. How long does it take for an assassin to kill someone? I've really no idea, so I'm going to assume, assume it takes two weeks. Cost £2,211, and your place in the world to come. Then came the Holy One, blessed be he, and destroyed the angel of death, the assassin. Right, cost? Priceless. Overall, you're going to need to shell out about £18,847.64 the respect of your family and friends and your place in the world to come to purchase everything in Khargadia. Two Zuzim, on the other hand, are currently worth £6.18. Um, uh, it's 3.5 grams of silver um, per Zuz. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Thanks, Morris. That was very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the education. Thing. I think is a better way. <laughs> Takes a whole day to kill an ox. Oh, scary. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for your research on that one. Um, okay, so now we 